came streaming technologies have an unfortunate history. In 2009, OnLive software was meant to be the gaming equivalent of Spotify or Netflix. It offered subscribers the ability to rent video games without installing them on their device. This setup enabled games to be run on machines that normally wouldn't be powerful enough to do so. OnLive had many challenges, but perhaps the most difficult was latency or input delay, the milliseconds that it takes to send commands to the data center and then send back the results. Sadly, in 2012, the company laid off all its workers and its assets were sold off. In 2012, Kickstarter funded Ouya console also attempted the same trick. It essentially worked as a router connecting to servers and running games directly from them rather than having to install them. Again, the production of Ouya was discontinued in 2015. However, it's been announced this week that the big daddy Microsoft is moving into the space with their new console Xbox Scarlet. Their confidence must mean that they have solved the latency issue and the history won't repeat itself. In essence, this move means a much larger emphasis being put on servers rather than bloated hardware. The ambition here is vastly, is vastly reduced reliance on the mineral extraction for console creation, still done under terrible conditions in Democratic Republic of Congo. Also, this means a contraction and outsourcing of hardware assembly at Foxconn factories in China. The potential offered by game streaming tech is immense. In the future, one could buy a Raspberry Pi microcomputer manufactured here in the UK for as little as 5 to 35 pounds and play all of the top end games on that setup. As the Chinese middle class is growing in an unprecedented speed, this change in conditions will inevitably advance the price of the devices we got so used to acquiring cheaply. Storing computers and servers, which then can heat our homes for instance, is a much more economically and ecologically viable option for future electronics, and if we wish to give any civic merit to digital mediums, we must take notice. One would be correct when stating that video gaming can never be truly appropriated for progressive purposes due to its sheer dependency on the hardware created under brutal conditions in the global south. We get enough judgment from our mates for playing games instead of gardening or craft making already. I look forward to a day where I wouldn't have to be embarrassed about gaming on the grounds of ethics too. You just watched it left up with me, Maria Mdjikalvita. Bye-bye.